uh, yeah, no one's gonna say it, but I'm gonna say it <laughs> because it's like we're always complaining about how we can't have this and we can't stick together and blah blah blah. blah but it's like, oh, I feel really bad for Joe Button because he's just like so fucking bored with his castmates. Like his castmates <laughs> are just like they are just like intellectually not there for him. And someone's got to tell Rory and Maul that they're... Yo, Azalea Banks is fucking vocal fry is crazy man that new york mixed with the new york accent yeah I'm, i feel sorry for joe button the show is like not it <laughs> at all like you guys are so much better um as like supporting actors and on the joe button podcast it was just all around a much better experience <laughs> and you know like it's so cringe listening to Rory like <laughs> be the token white guy and do his like trash Bill Burr impression like <laughs> right. That was good. She says Rory does a trash Bill Burr impression. That's so accurate. <laughs> Bill Burr is definitely Rory's North Star for sure. Oh, that was good. <laughs> Rory's <laughs> She's got way with words, man. This woman's got a fucking way with words. Hey, I promise you, HBO is not looking for you. They're not looking for you. <laughs> They're not gonna hit you up, okay? And I mean, Maul, like with like the fat vegan stuff, like okay, no, like <laughs> you can't be a f the fat vegan stuff. He said Maul. She said Maul's a fat vegan. <laughs> She said Maul's a vegan who gets like cheesy fries. You know that vegan, right? Who has cheesy fries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. That vegan. <laughs> it's just like, no, I don't know what you're eating. I don't know if you're like eating sugar or whatever, but like, I'm not buying this fat vegan shit anymore. Um... You two need to get back on the Joe Button podcast because that was some great entertainment. Oh. Yeah. I do agree to her though, though. They do need to go back on the Joe Button podcast. I think all pods, every single pod within the hip hop sort of space, the black content podcast space that have broken up, they're all worse for it. Yes, they've all gone into their individual things, but I think every podcast platform that used to have like a group friendship type of thing going on with the original crew that have kind of splint off to do their own thing. They're all suffering. Everyone's, everyone shows shit, personally, in my opinion. The Joe Budden show is not as good as it was with those guys on it. Rory and Moore show is not as good as when they were on the Joe Budden pod. Um, the Believe You Me, the same thing. No Jumper, the same thing. They all need to come back together again and just fucking put the content out for the fans. But egos are egos, pride is pride. Not going to happen. Rory and Maul don't really have, like, the hot takes that they think they have. And that Julian guy, I mean, he's fine, but, like, you know, like, I'd much rather look at Julian than listen to him talk. <laughs> that, like... Julian's gonna love that. He's gonna love that. This weird, drawn-out, like, draggy, like, hipster, like, ah, like, who gives a fuck? <laughs> Who gives a fuck? <laughs> you didn't have any hot takes either. <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, no, I love Azealia. I love Azealia Banks, man. She's so fucking mean, but so funny. She's legitimately one of the meanest persons on social media or on the internet. Flat out. Like, you do not want Azealia Banks coming after you. Like, she will say the meanest, most cruelest you know things to you like <laughs> in full hd it's really terrible how she does that big wall of text with like line after line and line after line after line of fucking insult so big up azalea banks for putting it out there but god almighty man that was too much man calling him more a fat vegan is fucking crazy